the first of which is buttons. We've got button look, which is set to fire one. So that's when you, you're set up to follow with button look. Uh, then you're running around and you know you click the fire one button, which is left click, or you can change it to you know fire two, which is right click, and look around with your right click. And or you know anything that's in your uh, project settings input in your input manager, you can set up your own custom inputs here and designate their name. Then we've got allow FPS button, so that allows you to be able to snap into first person view. So right now it's set to G. So if you hit G, you snap into first person mode, and then you hit G and you snap back out. And you can set that to anything on the keyboard. This isn't ran through the input manager. This is ran just by inputting whatever key you want. And you can change the first person distance. So if you don't want to have like a true first person view, you want to have it set up to where uh, you know, you zoom into the back of the head so that way you don't go directly to first person. Um, you've got that. Next is strafing. So this is like if you want a true kind of third person over the shoulder thing, you can strafe out over, over one of the shoulders and or over the other shoulder. So E strafes over one side. Uh, Q is set by default to strafe over the other. Um, and you can have some uh, variety here. So if you set the speed, you know, you, you can kind of set where you want to be. Um, and then you've got the limit. So if you want a, a big limit or a high limit, you can scroll out real far. Um, and it will always stay over that shoulder. So if you're over the right shoulder, wherever the character moves, it stays over the right shoulder. If you're over the left shoulder, you always stay over the left shoulder. Then we've got the smooth speed. Now, what this does is it makes it to the speed at which you stay over that shoulder. So if we set this to one, um, we're, we're gonna have some lag time over how quickly we get to that position over the shoulder. We can also have this be, you know, really high, uh, but depending on, you know, it'll get just right there. Um, and you may have to, you know, mess with these if your character is at a different scale than just the standard, standard default character. And so we can change the keys as well. Um, if you want these, if you set these to the same to the same key, you'll automatically start out. Whoa, we don't want that. We want our limit to be one for this. Uh, so you'll start out over the shoulder, over the right shoulder, and then if you hit just hit Q or whatever you set it up to, uh, you'll just bounce back and forth. So Q and Q and Q bounces back and forth. Uh, we also with this, you can't try and peek through peek through a wall with it, it'll just bounce you back over to uh, the other side if you're in always third person mode, or always over the shoulder mode, or if you've got these set up to uh, different things where you want to have the more control, it'll put you back at zero. So if you try and bounce over, you know, bounce through this wall, it won't let you. Uh, it just puts you back into the middle. Um, so that way you can't use it to try and peek through walls. Next up we've got smoothing. And this has a location and rotation. So the location has to do with how quickly the whole rig keeps up with the character. Uh, so if you notice 
here it takes just a tiny second to catch up when you stop which isn't really noticeable at this scale especially if you had the uh, visualizations turned off but here when we've got it set really low you can see that the character can get pretty far out ahead um, and then the the whole rig catches up a little bit later if you set it really high then the camera or the whole thing can get kind of twitchy um, because it's auto, just instantly snapping to it there's no like real smoothing to speak of because it's just right there instantly uh, then the rotation so this has mostly to do with the follow so when we're walking around uh, really really fast and you're spinning and if you don't want to be that fast uh, you can turn it way down and then the rotation will um, be much much slower or you know set it to five and it'll be about pretty good so that's how that works next we've got the mouse horizontal and vertical so this is when you've got mouse control so the sensitivity uh, works pretty much just like the mouse look controller so and you've got um, your horizontal and vertical sensitivity these both work the same way um, so you can turn this way down if you really s uh, want to move real slow back and forth um, and then you've got the minimum and maximum angles so with minimum 360 or negative 360 and maximum positive 360 that's just spinning around in circles around and around and around like your normal character controller would be but if you want it to be say your camera is attached to a turret maybe in like the side of a plane or something you don't want to spin around and around you don't want to be able to spin around to where you're looking at the inside of the plane so you can just make it to where uh, you know you hit this limit of negative three or negative 60 or positive 60 and then you just won't go any farther that way um, so whoops that gives you that and the the vertical works the same way um, when you've got it on a character controller like this you don't really want to go over 90 um, or else it just kind of confuses the the camera because it, it then it, once you hit directly over the top or directly underneath it it doesn't really know which way is up or down anymore um, so it gets confused so you don't really want to go over 90 um, 60 is what it defaults at and then finally we've got the scrolling so if you don't want to scroll in and out at all and you don't want uh, movement of any kind you know and you want to be able to just clip through everything uh, if that's your deal you know that's that's cool I'm not here to judge um, but uh, when we've got it on then you know we'll we'll not run through stuff so our options here are the speed so that's how quickly you move in and out uh, and our limits are inner and our inner and outer limits so default inner limit is zero which puts us in first person uh, then we scroll out uh, and our outer limit is 15 which is pretty far and our scrolling is you know it's decent speed uh, we can make it to where you know say we want to scroll uh, pretty fast whoops not that fast uh, and we don't want to go exactly into first person mode we still want to be outside the character and we really don't want to be that far out either uh, so we can just play with all these and so our scrolling is really quick uh, and then we don't go in first and we don't go out really far either and then the preferred distance is how where you want the camera to start out at so if we if we're back here um, and our outer limit is 15 and we want our preferred distance we want to start out at the very edge of our you know at the very very edge as far away as we want uh, to be capable of or we want to be we want to start out in first person mode 
uh, you know, then we're we're inside the character's head. Uh, so you can put that however you want. The mesh high distance. This is why we've got the player mesh set up here. Uh, is so you're not ending up inside the character you're not clipping through the character's own head uh, when you're scrolling in so you can see uh, if we scroll in the character hides so you can see it snap in and out right there um, so that way you're not clipping through the character's head uh, and that's that's all the options we have here um, next I'll go through the actual camera rig and go over all the components and exactly how they work and how all this stuff um, relates.